Another base that has a special relationship with binary is hexadecimal or base 16. And so in this video, what I'm going to show you how to do is convert hexadecimal to binary or base 16 to base 2. What we're going to do is lay out the digits of base 16, which I have AB93 here, and we're going to put those in the bottom of our table here. Above each digit, what we've done is placed four columns, and each column has a sequence of 2 to the power of 0 all the way to 2 to the power of 3. And we divide those out so we can easily see each one that we're working with. Then we are going to take the largest number that does not go over the digit. So in the first case, 4 would not work, but 2 would, and also 1. So 2 and 1, and we're going to put 1s underneath them. And then we're going to put zeros in the other slots. Now, in the next position, we have our four slots again. We find the digit that goes into 9 without going over, and that would be 8 and 1. And those combine to be 9, and then we put zeros in the other spaces. B. Now, B is going to be a little bit difficult because it's not a digit, so we're going to have to find its base 10 equivalent and use it to help us make the conversion. So I've written out the table here, and B in base 10 is 11. And so now we can place 11 into our four slots. So we're going to use 8, 2, and 1, and then put a 0 in the four slot. And then finally, we have A, and A, again, is not going to work as a digit because we cannot place it into the four slots above, so we convert it to 10 using our chart below. 8 and 2 will work for 10. We put zeros in the other slot, and now we have just converted AB93 into base 2 by writing out the digits. And so we have 16 digits that are going to represent AB93 into base 2. Let's try that one more time. We have 5C8D in base 16. We're going to convert it into base 2. We take our digits and write them in the table below. We add four columns above. Each sequence starts with 2 to the power of 0 and ends with 2 to the power of 3. We write out beneath that their equivalent values. 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, and 2 to the power of 0 is 1. And we start our conversion. From the start, you can see that there's a problem. We have D, which is not a number in base 10 that we can really plug into our system, so we have to use our table to convert it. D in base 16 is 13, so we can use 13 and say 8, 4, and 1 is equal to 13, and add a 0 where we're not using a digit. The next one is 8. And we put a 1 beneath the 8. We don't need the rest of the slot, so we put zeros there. The next one is C. We have to convert it. It's going to be 12. We're going to use the 8 and 4 to get 12 and put zeros in the other slot. And then finally, we have 5, which is 4 and 1. We'll put zeros in the other slot. We don't really need the 8 slot or that leading 0, so we'll just leave it off and write out 15 numbers instead of 16 numbers. So 5C AD in base 16 is this number right here in base 2.